This is Chestacho. All right, let's dive into this slippery slope business. So, the slippery slope fallacy is when someone argues that a seemingly small action will inevitably lead to some big, usually negative result. It's like saying, if we let Jimmy eat one cookie, he's going to end up eating the whole damn jar. This argument depends on whether the initial small step actually leads to the significant effect. It can often be a fear-mongering tactic where the consequences of an action are exaggerated to scare people shitless. The term slippery slope is also used interchangeably with continuum fallacy. This is when folks ignore the possibility of a middle ground and assume a stark transition from one state to another. It's like saying, you're either with us or against us without considering that someone could be neutral or have mixed feelings. A slippery slope can be represented by a chain of conditional statements like, if P then Q, if Q then R, if R then Z. Here the idea is that through a chain of steps, P will imply Z. But here's the catch. Even if each step has a high probability of leading to the next, the overall likelihood of P leading to Z decreases with the number of steps. There are two types of slippery slope arguments, the causal slippery slope and the judgmental slippery slope. In the causal type, each step causes the next one in the sequence. Meanwhile, the judgmental type is about making one judgment leading rationally to another, and so on. The judgmental type can be further broken down into conceptual slippery slopes and decisional slippery slopes. Conceptual slippery slopes are akin to the Sorites paradox. They argue that because there's no clear dividing line in a continuum, all points are essentially the same. Decisional slippery slopes argue that if you accept one position, you'll have no rational grounds for not accepting the next one in the sequence. So if you decide to let Jimmy have one cookie, there's no rational reason to stop him from having another, and another, and another, until, fuck, there go all the cookies. However, defining slippery slope arguments is like herding cats. There's no consensus in the literature about the proper use of terminology, and different writers classify them differently. Some say that the slippery slope is about a loss of control, which mostly aligns with the decisional type. The term slippery slope dates back to Cicero's time, but the concept it represents is even older. It's been used throughout history to highlight the potential dire consequences of a seemingly small decision. In conclusion, a slippery slope argument is a logical fallacy, where a small decision is claimed to lead inevitably to a significant, usually negative outcome. There are different types of slippery slopes and various interpretations of what the term means. And let's be real, the whole concept can be as slippery as a bar of soap in a prison shower. This is Chestacho.